Hey everybody, it's Jamie, AKA The Bag Lady. It is Monday, um, July 8th. What I've got for you guys is a quick thrift haul. Um, well, maybe not so quick, cause I, I really hit today. I don't know what it was, I just had a feeling, I was itching, and Zach asked me to run out and grab him a pizza for lunch, so I thought, well, the pizza place is right by the thrift store. So I stopped in and I hit for some good ones. And then um, I came home, brought him his pizza, and I went to the other thrift store and hit for some good ones there too. So um, for those that don't know me, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. What I've got for you, and these purses are not ready for sale yet, you guys. I haven't done anything with them, um, but I just wanted to show you what is gonna be coming up for the bag sale. So this first one that I picked up is a fossil with its key, pebbled leather. It's got a beautiful, beautiful braided handle, great bag. It just needs to be cleaned, conditioned, and um, you know, inside looks great. So fantastic bag, I couldn't believe it. Um, next up, is this Tianello or Tignanello, however you say it. Um, this is a red suede shoulder bag with leather trim. Um, tig, it's got the um, Tignanello or Tianello, whatever, however you say it. I should look up the guy that pronounces things. Um, but it's got that on the hardware. There's side pockets. There is front po front snap pockets, leather bottom, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Next one, and I and all these that I'm showing you, I found at my local Goodwill. So this next one is also is this a Tignanello or Tignanello or Tianello, however you say it. It is a white leather cross body. You open it up inside. It's got a spot for credit cards and ID. Then you've got a top section and you also have a back zipper section. It The strap is not adjustable, so it is definitely cross body um, or you could wear it as a long shoulder bag. I know it's a little late in the season for white, but I snagged it. Um, next up, Michael Kors. This is a Michael Kors um, crossbody nylon with Saffiano leather trim. It has a front zip pocket with hot pink interior. And then inside you've got slips, branding, zip top closure, and then a back snap pocket. I, I mean, I was just like, I was floored, you guys, floored, because somebody had been through there. Like, the bags were all, a lot of the bags were hanging open. I don't know if they put these out later or what, but, and normally at the Goodwill, they put these bags behind the counter, so I was shocked, totally shocked, especially when I went to look at the bags behind the counter, and I saw that they had a Steve Madden bag marked for... $99. They did have a really nice signature C coach, um, but they wanted $25 for that. So I'm going to go back on senior day um, and I may snag that one up. But anyway, cute little nylon Michael Kors crossbody. And the last bag that I found there was this black coach poppy. It's got the top handle. It also has the cross body strap. And I thought I saw, thought I saw a hang tag on this bag. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not seeing the hang tag. I truly thought it had one, um, but I, I actually have some I can put on here, so. We're good there. Frankie is here. So um, the next the next thrift that I hit is St. Vinnie de Paul. I picked up this 
beautiful pink Kate Spade. It does have a few dings on it, a um, little dirtiness on the bottom, a little dirtiness on the inside. I am cleaning this up and then I'm going to offer it to my bookkeeper because she she did ask me to source her a big pink tote bag. She didn't care about brand, um, but she wanted a big pink tote bag. So I have found it. I'm gonna clean it up, offer it to her first. If she doesn't want it, it'll go on the bag sale. Next up, you guys, and, and I'm gonna tell you, okay, so the first thrift store, I spent like $46 and some change for all of those bags. This one, for the four pieces that I got, I spent $39 and some change. Check out this Michael Kors I got, you guys. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I mean, look at how amazing it is. It's got a center section for your laptop. Um, it's got its key leash. And it is actually a Michael Kors, not a Michael Michael Kors. There's like inside slips. There's your center for your laptop. And then, you know, your side inside zipper pocket and slips in key leash. So... I may take this one and show it to my bookkeeper as well. I don't think she'll pick it, probably more based on price because I'll be able to give her a better price on the Kate Spade. Um, the next piece I found, you guys, is this Coach wristlet. Silver, and then it's got earth tone. It has, you know, the zipper closure there. Um, inside you've got credit card slips and a slip pocket and then outside you've got an outside zipper pocket lined in gray. I, I, I could not, I just couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. I was like, yep, the purse fairies are out and they want Jamie to get all the good stuff. Last thing up is a pebbled leather black Michael Kors crossbody. Um, it has an outside zipper pocket and then it has your inside branding, inside slip pocket. There is no zipper pocket. Um, but I, I couldn't, I honestly, I, I was like just gobsmacked by all of these bags. So short video, that's all I got for you. I just wanted to share my thrift haul. Um, I'm going to have some bangers for the bag sale. I do have an America's Thrift Supply box coming. Hopefully it comes in time for the bag sale as well. Um, so with that, it brings me to story time. I don't have a whole lot. Um, I did forget to mention though last week that, um, so I, I own a trailer or a mobile home with my brother in a mobile home park that has a pool. And I've been to the pool a couple of times now. Um, it just seems like when I can go, it's not hot enough. But anyway, uh, my sister-in-law Becky and I went and we had a nice time visiting, floating around in the pool a little bit. Well, I kind of just walked around because <laughs> the deep end is over my head. Um, but, you know, it was nice just the two of us, you know, getting to spend a little bit of time together, getting a little bit of sun. Um, and hopefully we can keep, you know, we can do that a lot more often. Um, I've got some time off coming up and that's what I plan to do. I plan to hightail it over by my brothers and, um, spend some time by, by the pool. And hopefully my sister-in-law Becky can join me because I know that she, I know she enjoyed it. And there's also a fitness center. So we, we talked about, um, hitting the fit, fitness center before the pool. Um, so I mean like working up a sweat and then we really want to get in the pool kind of thing. So anyway, um, I am getting out you guys. I am trying to participate in life. Um, I still have my moments where I am overcome with grief. 
Um, this past Friday, I had a mammogram appointment. I looked at the calendar. I saw the mammogram appointment and woof, it went out of my head just like that. And I missed my appointment. And I forgot to call him today and apologize and reschedule. Um, but you know what? That shit's going to happen. I mean, I have the attention, pan attention span of a squirrel currently. Um, I've been trying my best to watch my reseller buddies videos um, and comment. I do the best that I can. It's hard for me though. It is so hard for me to actually concentrate and, um, you know, but I'm trying. I really, I really am trying. I managed to watch a couple yesterday, make a few comments. Um, I even, I even went back and I watched a purse collab video, which is very, very hard for me. Um, you know, because it, it, it just reminds me of that day. Um, and anyway, I, I, I'm I'm hanging in there, you guys. I really am. I'm hanging in there. Um, and it looks like we've got a plan in place to get mom back to Tennessee. Um, so there's that. And I'm meeting up with some reseller buddies in August that I can't wait. I, and, and you know what? Honestly, I don't even know if I was supposed to say anything, truthfully. Um, but I, I haven't mentioned the other ladies' names because, again, I'm not sure if I'm... Excuse me, if I was really supposed to say anything or not. So, um, but with that, I, you will probably see this, this video Wednesday, um, cause I'm trying to keep to my regular schedule and then Saturday morning, well, Friday morning, it might be an America Swift supply box opening, which I try not to do those first. Um, but if that's what I have, that's what I have. If I don't have anything, then I don't have anything, um, but for sure we will have a Saturday morning bag sale. Now, um, August 3rd, I don't think I'm gonna do a bag sale. Um, and if I do, it'll be earlier in the week. I am, I am really, really thinking though about at some point cropping up with a scratch and dent sale. Cause I've got a bunch of purses around here that just aren't moving. And I'm ready to, you know, find them new homes and mark them down. And it's, you know, some of them are purses that I need to work on that I just haven't had the the desire, you know. Um, but, you know, I, I'm going to get there. I will get there. In fact, I did start working on a bag, a coach bag yesterday. Um, I had picked up this coach bag a couple months ago. And it looked really good in the store. And then when I got it home and I was looking at it in like my bright lights, I'm like, wait a minute, this kind of, is this faded or is it ombre? So I reached out to my buddy Janet from Happy Hour Haulers and I'm like, hey, did Coach make a bag where it was like ombre gray on, on some parts and, you know, black on others? And she's like, nope, that's a faded bag. So she did give me um, some tips on how to bring it back. And um, I bought the stuff that she told me to buy. I've been working on it. I started working on it yesterday. And I really think um, it's turning out fucking amazing, you guys. And um, I'm hoping to have it ready in time for Saturday's bag sale. So with that, y'all, um, I'm going to let you go. Peace.